All right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy, Volandis. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about finding that perfect photo shoot location, no matter where the fuck you stay. Okay, so before we get this video started, I'm going to be showing y'all some photos I've taken um, and some behind the scenes to some photo shoots that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks. And just uh, let, just let y'all see that because I know a lot of y'all, they just let me see the photos, nigga. I don't care about nothing else. I want to see the photos. So here, the photos are going to be first and throughout the video but here i'll, I'll show you all the things y'all want to see first let's just give a special thanks to fw photo lab for processing and scanning the photos you guys are about to see in this video super sharp smooth great colors and even leaves in some of that border if you're you know into that type of thing if you want to save some money on processing and scanning use the code volandis at checkout at fw photo lab and you will get you a little discount you know what i'm saying so yeah head over to fw photo lab you know send your film in check it out see what see if you like it i love it personally but yeah go ahead and see if you like it yourself <laughs> Here, come more in the middle, just so like, yeah. This way, just a little bit, right there. One, two. Damn, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two. Alright. One, two. You said where they at? They're over there. Oh, right there. Like They'll be alright. I think it'll be alright. I don't think they care that much. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here, put your arm on your arm like that again, yeah. I'm gonna need to do that sitting down just so we're on like the same plane. Here we can come back this way. Lean back, like put your arms. Yeah. One, two. Do another one. All right. One, two, three. All right. I'm gonna change film and then uh. Take like maybe three photos with color and then we then we can go to the next spot okay so now that that's out the way we are back in here to talk about finding that perfect location so a lot of people i wouldn't necessarily say complain but a lot of people do talk about how it's very hard to find photo shoot locations or um they want to live in a different city a lot of people want to move to la a lot of people want to move to new york or these places where you know finding um photo shoot locations and just finding things to work with is a lot easier than you know trying to find it in the middle of nebraska and while there's absolutely nothing wrong and i do want to emphasize that there is nothing wrong with moving to la or new york or wherever you got to move to to further progress your creative abilities some people may not be in the position where they can just up and leave North Dakota, Iowa, um, Nebraska, Arkansas, or, <laughs> or another random state in America. But seriously though, a lot of people who live in the middle of but nowhere do find it harder and tend to have a harder time finding dope locations for photo shoots. Also, another thing I want to mention before going on with this is that no matter where you live, I think it's 
um, definitely important to just embrace that and kind of work with that because I personally think it's super, super important for people to create work where they live. Because like, to be honest, if people weren't taking pictures of the hood, how would anybody um, know what the hood looked like? If people weren't taking pictures of the suburbs, how would anybody know what the suburbs look like? If people weren't taking pictures in Africa, how would anybody know what Africa looks like? So I think it's far more important than people think to just create images and create work where they live because people in LA are already creating work in LA. People in New York are already creating work in New York. So um, I actually don't know what it's like in Arkansas. I don't know what it's like in Iowa. I don't know what it's like in uh, North Dakota or Nebraska or any of those states that I mentioned earlier. So um, for people to create work in those states and give me a different insight and different perspective into what's actually happening there would be super important. That way you wouldn't have assholes like me online talking shit about those places like that and side note if anybody didn't um get the hint it, it definitely was a joke so i'm sorry to anybody that that's butthurt in the comments but yeah for me i can walk around drive to any place around in um basically lower michigan and feel comfortable with you know creating something and just like finding something but it takes going out because not even for me, I live in Detroit, but I still have to go out and I have to find things and I have to like make things work with, you know, what I got. Because you may think that just because um, I live in a city that it's probably easier to find certain things, but that's not always the case, especially when you have certain things that you want out of the work that you're creating. So is it easier to create images and work in a city than it is like the suburbs or like countryside? In my opinion, it's not. But it's all preference and just like relative to like what you're trying to show and what you're trying to convey through the images and work that you're creating. So so for me, I do think that finding locations for photo shoots is probably the most important thing to do when it comes to my photography, because even though I am a documentary photographer, even though I approach my documentary work in a different style than um, historically done or traditionally done, I do um, want to be in control of the story that I'm trying to tell and the story that I'm trying to push. And sometimes those stories fall in place naturally and other times you kind of have to create them. For me, all of my documentary work is done um, kind of documentary style. I show up to where people are. I don't tell them to leave. I don't tell them to go anywhere else. I don't tell them to do anything. I show up and I take pictures and that's the the fun thing that I do and I love doing that. But as I progress as a photographer, I've gotten real deep into trying to showcase the beauty of black women and women of color and just people of color in general. And sometimes when I have an idea in my head, I want to, you know, see that idea come to life. And it doesn't always necessarily fall into like that kind of documentary style of photography, but I still want it to be considered that, but in a different kind of light if that makes sense so for me that means finding maybe bars hotels um diners wherever it is um that i can kind of create this vibe that i am going for so the things that's helped me um most of all is just going outside and walking around first of all walking around your area that you live because sometimes when you live in a place you kind of go to the places you know you skip over a bunch of things and then you just go back home so um going out and walking around with a purpose solely looking for a location will probably help you more than you would think because when you're walking around you can see more things you can check out more things in depth and it just helps you overall see things that you wouldn't normally see while you're driving especially if you're paying attention to the road sometimes i wake up in the morning i eat breakfast and then i just go on a drive and i go to places that i've never been side note i do want everybody to take what i'm saying and be safe and don't do anything that's going to get you into sticky situations but i do um, take off and i do drive to places that i've never been before just trying to look for something new trying to see something that i've never seen before maybe um a restaurant that i've never seen before a hotel that i've never seen before um houses that i've never seen before just things that i have never that i'm not necessarily familiar with and trying to create scenes in my head before they even happen which is the most important thing also just regularly going out and doing different things because i know a lot of us artists were depressed we're in the house we're like you know kind of anti-social and kind of um i wouldn't say anti-social but just like introverts and kind of just like being at home but like i've noticed that the more i've gone out 
the more I've like just been introduced to different scenes and different people. And that's helped me find a lot of the things that I like to photograph because one of the bars that I shot at was because I went to it with one of my friends. And if I've never went to that bar with my friend, I wouldn't even known that bar existed. And I just would have never been introduced to, to the scene to begin with. And once I got in there, the photographer, I mean, and I'm like, this would be a dope, like the sun coming in through here. That'd be dope if I had a model sit right here, you know what I'm saying, we get a little drink. All that starts going through your head once you step into a new place and you know you see something that you're not necessarily familiar with even just driving around and seeing like a wall but a wall that's like hot pink and you're like damn i've never seen a hot pink wall so now you want to take hot pink pictures or something like that but as silly as that sounds that sometimes happens to me also a lot of the times i make mood boards um about the things that i want to photograph and the people that i want to photograph that way when going out to look for the locations that i'm already trying to shoot i have a good idea of what i'm looking for and i have a good idea of what i'm trying to create before it's even created another thing that i do and the simplest thing that anybody with the internet can do is to literally go on google type in whatever you want out of a photo and then put near me after it and it might be a long shot and you might be searching for a minute but at the end of the day but some of the times you might be surprised of what you might find and how close it is to where you actually live at another thing is to just step out of your comfort zone i know i'm very comfortable in detroit i am very comfortable in detroit i get uncomfortable when i start going outside of the city into places that i don't know but i've learned and i've worked on just trying to get myself more comfortable um, in those scenarios and in those areas that way when expanding my work i can expand outside of detroit and the things that's in detroit even though a lot of the work that i make is inside of the city and i want to keep it that way but a lot of there's a lot of cool shit outside the city that can't always just uh, there's a lot of things that i want to create that can't be created in the city all the time so just you know opening myself up to something new is always a good thing and just uh it helps it's helped me out quite a bit but i know that seeing um a lot of the work that people create online and getting uh, a following for and a name for and notoriety for um could be a little bit intimidating to new people coming into photography especially if you don't live around the things that's being created but i do think it's important to embrace where you live um accept where you live and create work where you live also another thing to note is that you don't necessarily need the coolest dopest and most extravagant location to come out with some cool extravagant and dope photos even in my case if you know me and my photography you know that some of the locations i use are very you know regular and not like super exciting but i do think that it's more important in how you interact with the location and what you use and how you use the location than the location itself even if it's a white background i think that you can use that location and you can use that white background to your advantage depending on what you're shooting how you're shooting it and what you're going for so i think just you know being kind of creative and just creating different type of moves and feels even if it's a white background even if the location is not as exciting as you know the next location that somebody else is using just making that location your own and um you know just really cementing your style into that location and just making things cool and dope on your own without needing you know the best and most extravagant location but yeah anyway man um create work where you live is super important um you might surprise yourself to how many people actually care about that work anyway man i hope you guys enjoyed the video but that's going to wrap it up for me if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed if you already packed out the like button i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do but it's gonna wrap it up for me man uh, we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go do some shit you know the vibes Let's get it.